welcome back everyone to another beer review. Been a couple of days since I've done one. Uh, I've had a weekend away in Torquay. Uh, so yeah, uh, so I'm straight back home and straight on the beer reviews. Uh, I've recovered from uh, the incident this afternoon that I had. I had a beer when I went into a restaurant. Uh, had a few wasps around there and one had landed on the, the outside of my glass which I didn't notice. Took a mouthful and then had it sticking out of the inside of my lips. A little bastard had stung me in that so and so uh, once I got him off me he was going to die anyway but he definitely did under my foot once he got on the floor ended up eating me dinner with a big swollen lip uh, so that was very eventful so nice to get back to do a beer review nice to get to be honest I haven't, I haven't really drunk much to be honest uh, but hopefully it'd be nice to get back to get some proper decent beers to be honest so uh, yeah the beer up tonight uh, Hopefully you've missed us all, but I'm sure you haven't <laughs> got to that one anyway. So uh, next one up is a, a, a beer from a local brewery to me. I picked this up in on the other side of the border in Wales uh, from a spa. And it's from uh, Monty's, which are from Montgomeryshire, which is quite local to me, to be honest. And it's a bottle of their Mischief. And it's a strong, golden, refreshing IPA. Uh, coming in at 5% in a 500ml bottle. This was £2.49. Uh, hopefully this will be good. I'm hoping it will be. Uh, lovely labels on their things. I do like it. They got real classy labels, and I do like the old bottle cap there. Can you get that there. Monty's Brewery, I believe it says. Was it Monty's Brewery with a little picture of hops on top? Looks great. Great catches your eye. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, let's get this out of the bottle. See what we get. Good to be back doing another review. I did buy a couple from down there, from uh, Hunter's Brewery, I think, Devon Brewery, uh, £2.9 a bottle, I think they were, were they any good? No, they're alright, had all this cra handcrafted beer stuff on the label and that, but for me it didn't quite really live up to that, so I'm glad I never reviewed them, anyway, let's get on with this one, in the glass, look at that, got a widget thing in the bottom but that is going absolutely bonkers in there it's a nice sort of darkish golden color these are bottle condition there's some floaty bits going around in there don't think I'm gonna be able to pick them up uh, but yeah Christ the, the heads just getting bigger I think we've got a three finger the real creamy head in there I mean that's going wild but I mean looks wise it looks it looks really good uh, I might have to take some of the head off to try and get a nose in there. See if I can get sink. Let's see what I get. You just got a real. Almost a. Got a lovely sweet sort of fruitiness. Aroma in there. Uh, if it is hops, it's definitely sort of slightly different sort of whiff to the hops. But yeah, it's quite, it's quite, it smells quite, quite sweet. What are we, what are we getting on there? Malt, great balance of malt and hops, and so maybe the sweetness is coming from the malt. Uh, and then the hops is quite fruitiness, it's saying with a slight sweetness in the finish. Uh, doesn't really say an awful lot, that's, that's pretty much all it says. So I'm going to guess this is going to be a traditional sort of IPA sort of thing. Look at that, I need a flake in that one. So... What we'll do is I'll try and get in there, see what we get to taste. Not much on the nose, I'm afraid, to give away. Just a sweet, look at that, bloody hell. A sweet sort of hoppy taste, it's, it's lovely. It's all, almost floral rather than fruity. So, I'll tell you what, I'll shut up, we're four minutes in. Let's get going, try. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting, that is. Again, I, funny lately, I've had IPAs that have been quite malt forward. You're not... You're not really getting hops in there, to be honest. In the taste. 
and even me saying hops on the nose. It's definitely a more malt forward uh, drink. Definitely a lot more. Let's see if I can get the rest of here, see what we get. Ooh, Christ, there, it bits galore in there. Absolutely bits galore. You can see that on the camera. Everything floating around. Maybe I'll get a bit more of a hoppy taste when I get through this head again. Oh dear, everything's going wrong today, it really is. Now, I'm getting a little bit more hot, but still not not loads. That is bottle condition to the hill, look at that. Can you see all them bits going around in there? There's one thing you can't see in all the, on the bottom. There's quite a few bits lingering there. Definitely bottle condition. Getting a bit more IPA on the back end. Malt forward, almost a sweet sort of caramel toffee notes in there. Uh, what do I think of it? As a strong golden refreshing IPA, a little bit disappointed, expecting a bit more hoppiness in there. Uh, but as a drink in general, it's kind of quite enjoyable. Uh, but it doesn't quite do it as an IPA for me. Uh, 5%. Let's get in there with the body and all that. I'm, I'm all ass about face and I'm rushing into a review. Quite a nice body. Carbonation's not too too wild in there. Mouth feels nothing to write home about. It's just okay. Uh, as I say, very malt forward, a little bit caramel toffee sort of notes in there maybe, uh, definitely bottle condition, 5% you're not getting I wouldn't say, <coughs> oh. Ooh, Welsh gas. but as a drink, okay, it's Certainly not throw down the sink stuff. Certainly rather enjoyable. But was hoping, to be honest, I was hoping there might be a bit more sort of proper job sort of IPA in there. Uh, but an enjoyable drink. So anyone who's around my area, sort of Shropshire, Montgomeryshire, that's all Powys and all that lot, uh, pick one up. Uh, because it's not a bad drink, it's, not, it's well worth a try, well worth a try. Uh, they've got their Monty's Brewery, they're on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram by the looks of it. Uh, if you've had it before, let me know what you think. And that's about it for the review. Uh, I do apologise, this has all been a little bit arse about face, a few things have gone wrong. Uh, but that's it I suppose, isn't it? So uh, thanks for watching everyone, thanks to all the new subscribers. Find us obviously on YouTube, all the be an idea. Uh, Facebook, all the be an idea, and Twitter as well. Uh, look out for some more reviews coming up because obviously I'll be doing some more now. Uh, and thanks for watching. Thanks, uh, not only all the subscribers, but all the ones that don't subscribe who are still watching. All much appreciated. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you again. Another beer review very soon. Cheers.